boxing truth here. Let's talk about Devin Haney, man. Getting tired of the noise, the barking, the chirping that this cat's already displayed, already becoming the biggest clout chaser in the game, calling out all the big names, but ends up fighting nobody. We got ourselves another Floyd here, another strategic ducker, and that's what Devin Haney and his team are about to do as they don't want any smoke with the winner of Javier Fortuna versus Luke Campbell for his gifted belt that was handed down to him. This cat don't even want to get his belt back against a legitimate contender of the winner of that fight. The winner of that fight will be the most recognizable name on his weak ass resume. It will be an actual legitimate fight. But he would actually get some props if he was to beat the winner of the Campbell versus Fortuna fight. But all Devin Haney wants to do is act like he wants to fight all the top dogs. And yet the strategic ducking is already in place. Talking about going to 140. When there's plenty of heat in the lightweight division. People's acting like they scared of him. But nobody's scared of this this cat, man. This this guy is another Floyd, man. I already see it coming. I can see it right through Devin Haney. Calls out all the big names and ends up fighting a nobody. He's making up all this noise. So just so he can, he can fight a bum in July. Or another no-name opponent. Which is exactly what he's going to do. Acting like he wants to smoke. But yet he won't even fight the most legitimate opponent to date which is actually trying and attempting to get his belt back which he didn't even make a defense of and actually was handed down to him beating a prospect I'm already not a fan of Devin Haney because of his antics his behavior and he's already after spending a little time with Floyd already acting like Floyd already in placing Strategic ducking. Floyd did the same shit. Called out all the big names. End up fighting nobody. Called out Asselino Freitas. Casamayor at 130. Ends up fighting Philip Endo. Doesn't fight Paul Spadafore at lightweight. Ends up fighting Victoriano Sosa. And loses the first Castillo fight. Doesn't fight Casazu at 140. Only to end up fighting Henry Bucellus and cherry picking a Toro Gotti. This is what Devin Haney's about to do. This is the, the exact game plan. Copying off the Floyd blueprint. Act like you want to smoke. Fool the fans into thinking that he's being avoided, but he's really doing strategic ducking in place. He could just end up fighting the Fortuna Campbell winner. Since there's everyone in the lightweight division is actually booked. This is the problem. Everyone has a plan in the lightweight division. Ryan Garcia has a plan. Tiafimo Lopez has a plan. Lomachenko has a plan. But Devin Haney ain't got no plan. All he wants to do is make noise. Just so he can fight a bum whenever he returns which he says is going to be in July. Wants to announce to the world that he's moving up to 140. To fight who? Who are you going to fight at 140, bruh? Josh Taylor has got a plan. Jose Ramirez has a plan. They were top ranked. So who? what's the plan at 140? Why are you calling out Adrian Broner? You know damn well that fight ain't going to happen. Who gives a shit about Broner now anyways? Semi-retired. Hasn't fought in over a year. And he's pretty much shot to shit right now. Doesn't let his hands go no more. What's the point in that fight? People will watch, but... The, that fight ain't gonna happen. Even Adrian Broner got a plan. Whenever he returns, if he returns... He's gonna fight... A comeback fight. And then he's gonna get cashed out against... Sergey Lipinets, Keith Thurman... 
or Danny Garcia, one of them got them guys, and then he'll be off for another two years in case he needs he needs money. Adrian Broner's done. That fight ain't gonna happen anyways. You calling out Mikey Garcia? But once Mikey Garcia beats Jesse Vargas, he's gonna take that seven million and go running back to Al Heyman. Besides, Mikey Garcia has a plan as well. So, a lot of name calling, not a lot of action, acting like he wants to fight the big names, but all this cat's going to do is fight the opponents that he knows he can beat. More no-name opponents are in the future for Devin Haney. Won't even stick around in lightweight division, won't even fight the winner of Fortuna Campbell. That's the fight you can make right now. That's the fight that you can actually get. That should be in your plan to actually get your belt back. But you're actually going to avoid and walk away from the, from the belt that was gifted to you. Just so Ryan Garcia could pick up the slack for you. Because that's going to be the plan. What, that's, what, that's what it's looked like. That's how it's going to pan out. If Campbell wins... Ryan Garcia will fight Campbell for the WBC title. And he'll become WBC champion. And Haney is still going to be barking and chirping while avoiding the, the best fighters in the lightweight division by going up to a weight class where there's absolutely no fights that he can make and acting like he wants to fight the big boys at 140. And calling out fights that he knows damn well ain't going to happen. Another Floyd in the making, man. Just another cherry picker and strategic ducker for fans to follow and to be fooled that he actually wants all the smoke. This cat don't want nothing to do with any threat in the lightweight division. Just another pretender. Not a bad fighter. Pretty advanced for his age. But he's fought nobody, man. And it looked like he ain't going to fight anybody anytime soon. This is Boxing Truth. I'm out.